welcome our viewers. Today we are hosting the Omukos family. Let me give Mr. Omuko the opportunity to introduce the family. Karibu ni sana. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. First of all, we are humbled for this invitation and thanks for hosting us. My name is Jafet Omuko Umbuera. And besides me here is my lovely wife. She's called Doreen Molly Bonareri Omuko. And we are privileged and humbled to be with you today. Where did you guys meet? He's in a position to answer it. Mm. Yes. Wow. I was expecting her to answer that because <laughs> when it comes to remembering exactly, ladies are doing much better than that, but mm. I can recall. Eh? Okay. We met back in the year 2008 and or nine. Eight. 2008, you see what I was saying? <laughs> <laughs> we met in 2008. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and exactly that was in church. Wow. By the way, we happened to come from, from the same church. Wow. So we were the members of the same church. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is exactly where we met. Mm -hmm. And uh, till today, mm -hmm. that is the same church that we are worshiping today. Okay. Yes. Wow. Okay, to add up, mm -hmm. I was somewhere, I was calling somewhere. Mm -hmm. Only for, for me to come during the holidays mm -hmm. and notice that there is a new face here in this church eh? <laughs> this tall handsome man wow. yes oh. not that kunivutia the first day but you, you know you can notice that th th this is a new face, new face yes okay. mm -hmm. and you see being new in the church and mm -hmm. he was active he was mm -hmm. talking to people mm -hmm. he, he was mingling actually with people okay. yes so that time he just approached me how are you what's your name yes and, and i told him my name that that was it we it was just a, a friendly talk mm -hmm. nothing more okay. yes wow. because i was somewhere so i used to come during the holidays and mm -hmm. go back okay. yes ah that's good that's good on that time yeah. on that time that is in 2008 eh? mm -hmm. When I got to know her, she was in school. Mm -hmm. But I did not know that she was in school. Mm -hmm. when, we, when I was doing my proposals to her, <laughs> when I was telling her how I feel about her, uh -huh. <laughs> of course, at that time, during that our time 10 years ago, mm -hmm. she didn't have a phone. Oh. But I am privileged at that time, I had a phone. <laughs> <laughs> so you've met in church. Mm -hmm. She does not have a phone. You love her, you feel for her, <laughs> but how do you talk to her? It was not easy. Mm -hmm. So the only way was to make sure that the next Sabbath, very early in the morning, <laughs> you are in church so that you can have a privilege of seeing her again. Okay. But as days progressed, mm -hmm. she, I, she got my number, yes. Mm -hmm. She was calling me f f using a brother's number. <laughs> At times, her mother's phone oh. and that blossomed as that way that way that way until mm -hmm. when I proposed to her oh. but before I proposed to her mm -hmm. that was in 2008 yes. in 2009 mm -hmm. I realized she's in school mm -hmm. and I'm ready to settle tutafanya aje sasa hii mambo mwanafunzi na mtu anataka kuoa itawezekana kweli so I decide I, I pull her a little bit oh. I did not tell her that uh, this and this is happening, yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. But I was asking myself so many questions. Is this the right person? Will I wait for the next one year or something like that? Uh -huh. Because I was seeing one year is a long, long, long time, long time yes, for me. <laughs> okay. But that year elapsed. Uh -huh. After that, 2008, 2009, uh -huh. she graduated. And there we were. So I decided to, 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 to the, the, the first moves that I made during that previous year, uh -huh. now I decided to do that. Okay. So when it reached in 2011, now I decided that this is the right time for me to make my moves. Okay. I want to get married. Uh -huh. So I asked her whether she could accept that we get married so that we can start a family. Okay. To her, it was an easy yes. Uh -huh. But now there was an issue. Uh -huh. She was afraid. How is she going to break these news to 
to her siblings, so to the parents and everybody else at home. Oh. Because she was only 21 at that time. At that time. Yeah. Yes, she was 21. Mm -hmm. And I was 28. Mm -hmm. I was around that time, around that age. So how is it going to happen? The parents know me. We worship in the same church. Yes. Everybody else knows me in the church. How is it going to be? You are in the same church. You meet every other time. If it is the mother, when you go to give your overtory in front there, mm -hmm. you meet her. Yeah. We, we, we were with Jafeth on, on a Friday. Mm -hmm. So and that Friday, and he told me just go and break the news. And my dad was coming on that Friday. Mm -hmm. So on Friday, I didn't do anything. On Saturday, we went to church. In the afternoon, I remember it very well. Mm -hmm. I took my phone, I texted my dad. Mm -hmm. Dad, how are you? Are you at home? My dad texted back. Yes, I'm at home. I texted back, I would like to talk to you. Mm -hmm. My dad texted me, just come at home. I'm around. Okay. Yes. So I tensed. I tensed. I'm just walking, trying to, to look for what to go and tell my dad. No. Hapana, I sindikiza hiyo siku. Alikuwa kazi yake na nipigia na niuliza. Ume, ume muambia? Na muambia hapana, ninaenda kumuambia. Ume muambia because hata ya alikuwa nangoja the final, okay. the final answer. Ah. So that day I went home. I found my dad sitting at, at home we have a, an, we have a, an avocado tree. Uh -huh. My dad seated there yes. and two plastic chairs. My dad was reading a, a certain book. Mm -hmm. I entered the gate, I went and stayed in my room until I heard my dad calling me, Doreen, I'm waiting for you. Hey, nikasema, sasa ite na ndo shidagani, nilijueka. Now am I going to, to do it, surely? Yeah. Okay, innocently. Yes. Nikaenda, nikaketi. Nikamwambia, I've been having a friend. Mm -hmm. Na tumekana hey, this duration, mm hii -hmm. muda. And it's time, me I want to get married. It was a shock to my dad. Mm -hmm. So my dad, I remember the first question my dad asked me, have you talked to your mom? I told him, no. Mm -hmm. Why? Yes, my dad. I told my dad, I do respect you so much, mm -hmm. and I decided mm -hmm. to break this news to you. Mm -hmm. I decided you to be my to be the first person to to tell it to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dad told me the the next question he asked me is that man baptized? I told my dad yes. So how you people want to do it? Do you want to pack your things and go, or do you want to do a wedding? And they said I want to do a, a wedding. Mm -hmm. My dad told me, it's okay, I've had whatever you have told me, mm -hmm. create your time, go and talk to your mom from there. I'll, I'll, we'll finalize everything and we'll give you mm -hmm. the final answer. Okay. Yeah. So now we waited mm -hmm. for, a, for a few, was it weeks? Yes. No, it wasn't a week. It was like two days. So the answer came. The answer came. So I was waiting all this long, I'm waiting for an answer. What will they say? No, 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 no. So my dad told me, I've, I've finalized everything and I've given you a consent. Go ahead. Whatever you want me to do for you, I'll support you fully. Yes. Now, now the news is there yeah. that now you guys can move and go ahead. A big relief. A big yes. relief. <laughs> so I could think. Uh -huh. And that is a time I... I I talked to her and I told her, you know, because we have already decided yes. now at Uskizi what to sana. Uh -huh. Those who want to support us, they will support us. Uh -huh. Those who will want to join our train, uh -huh. the doors are open. Yes. Those who are not willing, there is nothing you can do. You know, when you are wedding, uh -huh. not everybody else will be supporting you. Right. Maybe kuna msichana pale pengine alikuwa anafikiri unaweza ongea kitu. Pengine na on na side pengine kuna mtu alikuwa anafikiri which did not happen at that yeah. time. Uh -huh. So those challenges were there uh -huh. until even the wedding day. Wow. During our wedding, there are some things that happened uh -huh. which kept people speaking. We did everything, procedure, everything was right. Mm. Now we were in church. Mm. All of a sudden, the lights went off. there was a blackout. So imagine a wedding without light, no electricity. 
How is it going to happen? Ni kutafutana na muziki itakuwa aje, kila kitu kitakuwa namna gani? Generator yenye ilikuwa backup ikawekwa on. In the process it blew everything. Mitambo ikachomeka hapo. There is no time watu washaanza ku matching. Matching squad ishaanza kuingia. Katikati stima imepotea. Generator is off. What do you do? Do you stop and wait for a backup PA system to be brought? Uh -huh. No. Life had to continue. Yes. So people marched in our wedding. Free. Without, <laughs> without music. Without uh -huh. anything. Uh -huh. And we want to thank God uh -huh. that day ended. We're going to take a break. But as we do that, let's have a drink from Orchard Valley. Some juice. Welcome back to the show. So, tell us about family life. Have you been blessed with children? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are blessed with three kids. Mm -hmm. three, two boys mm -hmm. and one girl. Okay. First born is nine years. Mm -hmm. Second born is six years. Mm -hmm. And third born, the little girl, is one year, four months. Yeah. And we really thank God. Mm -hmm. Yes. In terms of family, mm -hmm. as she has put it, yes. we are indeed blessed. Mm -hmm. You know, at times when you get married, mm -hmm. we say kids are a blessing to the family. Mm -hmm. God indeed blessed us. Mm -hmm. And apart from the children, yes. you know, when you start this issue of called marriage, mm -hmm. First of all is the companionship that you are thinking about the two of you. Yes. We have been doing well, but of course we've had our highs and lows. We've had the points where we feel mm -hmm. <laughs> and Kabisa? that is part of it. Uh -huh. I, I remember times, mm -hmm. there is one incident when, w w which really happened mm -hmm. during, during when we were having our second born. Yeah. He was a young boy mm -hmm. at that time. Tulikorofishana na mama. Akaamua kuenda. Na first born. Na first born, na second born. We have two kids at that time. Actually, the, my, my second was young, actually. He was mm -hmm. like some, some months or something of the sort. Mm -hmm. So we yes. disagreed. Mm -hmm. It was, we disagreed not to agree again. Mm -hmm. So she made a decision. Mm -hmm. Now, uyu mwanaume, sasa. Mm -hmm. I packed and went. Let me go. Mm -hmm. But, you know, some decisions, when you make them, when you are hungry, mm -hmm. when you're mad at one another, mm -hmm. at times you regret later. Yes. When she reached at their place mm -hmm. with a big bag mm -hmm. and the kids, without a notice <laughs> that she was going, I think they felt that something was not right. Mm -hmm. So they talked to her. Mm -hmm. What is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, my parents stay in Molo. My, 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 my family stays in Molo okay. and her family stays here in Akuru. Okay. So she did not even want fear from me because mm. it's just here. Okay. She just okay. went. <laughs> she, just, she, she just went there. <laughs> so Sasa, uh, uh, once she's there mm -hmm. and we also stay in Akuru here, yes. she was told, no, listen, we are not the right people to, to listen to your grievances. Mm -hmm. Have you talked to the, 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 your, your parents from, from the gents' side? Mm -hmm. No then the right thing to do is to go there uh -huh. and have a discussion with them. Uh -huh. You try and sort your problems. Yes. She chose the easier option. Uh -huh. And the easier option was to come back home. Molo <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, from that time, uh -huh. even if we get our problems and issues here, yes. Atakama to make us rikiana, which is normal in any marriage, mm -hmm. we have to look for a way mm -hmm. of trying to come unto terms and we sort it out. Wow. wow, that's good. Now, being an Adventist couple, 
how has the experience been? I remember you touched on friends here, friends there, <laughs> when I say my EV. How has the experience been? Now? Yes. When we were getting married, mm -hmm. I was a youth leader mm -hmm. from my local church and the station level that during that time. That is from 2008, 2009, 10, up to 11. Mm -hmm. when, I, when we were getting married, I was still a youth leader. And uh, when you are a leader, a lot, of, a lot is expected from you. Wow. Those people that you are leading, they look upon you. Yes. After my wedding, again, mm -hmm. during I, I wedded in August. In October, mm -hmm. I was nominated to be one of the church elders. Mm -hmm. So that issue of being a leader mm -hmm. was elevated to another level. Yes. So there are so many things people look upon you as a leader. Yes especially when you are leading the young people. Mm -hmm. They look upon you. Mm -hmm. They want to imitate you. Mm -hmm. They want you to be a role model unto them. Yes. So in this issue, when you are a young person, you are a leader, and then you have been given the position of being a church, elder in church, a lot of people expect so much from you. So Unakuta, mm -hmm. somebody who is bigger than you in terms of age coming to ask for, mm -hmm. for some piece of advice. Juewe ni elder. Juewe ni elder. <laughs> Yes, mm -hmm. you are a church elder. Mm -hmm. But you see, in terms of family life, mm -hmm. you have just started. Mm -hmm. But you cannot behave like somebody who have just started. Mm -hmm. you, you have to be <laughs> sitting in that position of yes. a church elder. Okay. And you have to give direction. Mm -hmm. So the issue to do with church has really helped us, mm -hmm. especially when we have issues to do with laws. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you want to know somebody, Mm -hmm. What about when you are rock bottom? Yes. How do you behave? Mm -hmm. How do you settle your issues? Yes. So our experience has given us opportunities mm -hmm. even to guide this other generation oh. on how to move, on how to go about mm -hmm. in, in this issue yes. okay. called marriage. Okay. So mambo ya challenges to me ndio. Na mtu wazeme ya kwamba because you are a church elder, you yeah, cannot argue. You uh -huh. cannot argue at home, no. <laughs> at times, uh -huh. unafika, ana, mumeko sana, ata kuuliza pengine. Sasa we ni church elder. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. you have to remind her, uh -huh. wacha, besides being a church elder, I'm, I'm, your also, husband. Husband. I'm, I'm also your husband. You kifika nyumbani, yes. kufia ya kule inje, inabidi unatoa. Na azima uvalia ya nyumba, ya nyumba, so that you can give direction yes. in that home. Uh -huh. You have to reason together, yes. you have to push together, uh -huh. so that you can achieve. Yes. Now, from that experience, because you guys have had one hell of an experience, what is your advice to young couples, young Adventist couples, coming up in the church? There is one question that normally people ask, mm -hmm. not even in the church only, mm -hmm. even outside there. Yes. Utaoa lini mm -hmm. ama utaolewa lini. lini. <laughs> when you pose that kind of question to these young people, yes. the first question they ask, or the first answer or the impression they give you, mm -hmm. I don't have a house, mm -hmm. I don't have money, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so I cannot get into this, because if I get onto this one, mm -hmm. I will not be in a position to to manage it. Mm -hmm. But I want to give a piece of advice to, mm -hmm. to young people. Yes. First things first. Once you have the right person who understands you, mm -hmm. who knows you, mm -hmm. then it is easier. Okay. The problem with young people, this young generation at the moment, our same you kweli. Akikuta girl pale amemkufia ama amempenda, anaanza kumdanganya vitu zile zenye hazipo. So, uyu, uyu mtu, mm -hmm. aki realize, mm -hmm. so there is that impression, amefanya nini? Amechukua. So, first of all, be yourself. Mm -hmm. And start with the right person. Once you get the right person, yes. any man, those who are successful in life, yes. they can tell you that when they started, mm -hmm. they started with nothing. Mm -hmm. But they had ideas. Yes. They had a goal. They had something they wanted to achieve. Uh -huh. Who activates that? Yes. That woman. Uh -huh. So these ladies that you see here, yes. once they decide to make you, push you, to wake you up uh -huh. so that you can do other things, the potential that is in you, uh -huh. the person who knows the potential in that, in you as a husband, is your wife. Uh -huh. So that is why 
once you get the right person, mm -hmm. don't think about these other things. Mm -hmm. They'll just fall in place at the right time. And you know we started from mm -hmm. zero. Yes. We, were, we, we, we used to, when I got, we, we got married, we were living in a single room. Uh -huh. We graduated to double. a double room. Uh -huh. We did not want even to look, she was of an opinion, Ata to siende kutafuta one bedroom, mama to bedroom. Uh -huh. Why can't we look for ours? Yes. Uh -huh. Why can't we try and uh -huh. save you build your home. so that you build your home? Yeah. Okay. That is how we ended up in our home. Wow. And, and I remember, actually that time, let me say that you weren't in a position that you can look for a house that costs some money. Uh -huh. But I remember telling him, mm. yes, we can afford that house, for example. But mm. why can't we live in this cheap house mm -hmm. while we are saving, we purchase somewhere, and even as we build somewhere where, where you can go comfortably, mm -hmm. saying that I'm going to, yes. to my home. You cannot have everything so that you can start this institution of marriage. Mm. No. Have the basics. Have, if you are able to take care of yourself, mm -hmm. then it means you can easily support somebody else yes who is always also in a position to support herself. Yes. When you combine the efforts together, mm -hmm. you achieve something yes. much better. Yes. So don't fear, don't have any something that discourages you from getting into this, kwa sababu how you achieve a few things here and there. So once you have the basics, somebody who trusts you, somebody who believes in you, somebody who sees potential in you, that is the right person.